guys, welcome back to my channel. So you may or may not know, but I currently have a lob or a long bob going on. Woo! <laughs> so I've been trying to think of all different ways to style it, just to have a bit of fun with it. And I've got to be honest, this kind of hairstyle is something that I've wanted to do for so long. Like I went through a phase where I was like, oh my gosh, can I get a perm? <laughs> but my hair was always so long and heavy that this was just completely uh, like not doable. I would try to curl it and it would just be like crazy ringlets, but they'd still be really long So it looked super weird and then now with this length hair This is super easy to do and you don't even need any heat or tools You literally just roll little bantu knots in your hair the night before and I've just figured out how to do it So I thought I would share these little tips with you Okay, so my hair is still quite damp from a shower, it's freshly washed, and what you're going to need is the following. I'm going to start off with some body and texture primer, so just anything to kind of give your hair a little bit of grit. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that. Then it's also super useful to have literally a water bottle, so this is just like a Ooh, spray bottle with water in it because you do want the hair to be slightly damp when you're doing these knots. Then the most essential ingredient for this hairstyle is tiny little rubber bands. You can find these at most chemists. Basically, yeah, any, any small rubber bands for your hair. And because I actually want my ends to not look too frazzled, I'm going to put a little bit of Moroccan oil in just at the ends. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that. Ooh. And like really gently, almost just like touch along the ends a little bit. Then for me, I actually really want this hairstyle to be like big on the top. Like I want the hair to come down like ooh, like this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna spritz a little bit of root lifting spray. You can use any other texture root lift or a salt spray or something like that, just to give you a little bit of grit. Even a mousse or something would be great. So essentially what I'm left with now is hair that is damp from the shower, we've got some Moroccan oil on the ends to make it feel really nice and smooth on the ends, and we've got the roots feeling textured and lifted. As you can see, that's already like super voluptuous. So what we're going to do now is with a clip, clip away the top section. And just keep a little bit exposed at the bottom there because you're going to want to grab pretty small sections for these knots. So, this is really simple, and I love hairstyles that don't require any heat, although it is really weird to sleep with it. <laughs> so just bear in mind that you are going to have to sleep on like a bunch of little tiny buns, <laughs> which is very odd, but you kind of get used to it. Once you're asleep, it's totally fine. <laughs> so you just start to grab sections. Now, if your hair is quite soft, you might want to even give it a tiny spritz of hairspray. Not a strong hold, but a flexible hold would work really well. And then, just start to twist them. I'm twisting backwards here, but this is one of those hairstyles where I'm going to want to mix it up. So some of them will be backwards, some of them will sort of face forwards. But it, there's really no rhythm to it, so you can kind of just keep it as messy as humanly possible here because as long as the curls conflict with one another they'll kind of stay really big and bouncy. So you can see here that I've kind of twisted that towards the end and now my twist oh, me, is kind of starting to invert on itself. Now I learned that it is pretty essential for you to then wrap that around as neatly as possible. I did a few the other day that weren't wrapped really neatly. They were kind of a bit of a disaster, but I thought it would be fine. But it turns out that those curls didn't really turn out. Once you've wrapped that all around, you're just gonna grab a little elastic and secure that into place. And then you just keep grabbing more sections and doing the same thing. Then, once you've done your bottom layer, you just grab the next section. Now, I'm going to divide this into three, so... 
see how if I were to part that into two, that's kind of equal size to the sections that I've been doing at the bottom there. So I'm going to clip that all away and move to the middle section. With this one, I feel like I actually want to curl forward because I do want this style to sit in my face and be really messy and really big. So I'm going to twist these ones forwards. Now I've done the two sides here on the second level and this bit here at the back I'm actually going to divide into three because I don't want there to be a distinct part in the back of this hairstyle. So I'm going to grab that section and that section and basically have a middle one at the back there which is going to make the back look really nice and full and curly without there being a part. Now I'm moving on to the top layer here and you can divide this as you please. So you can either do a center part or have it slightly pivoted to the side. I'm going to go with a little bit on the side like this. done so this is how I'm gonna go to sleep I know this isn't the sexiest look ever for like bedtime <laughs> but basically a good idea is to grab a scarf and silk scarf is a great idea and just cover that up so that they stay really nice and soft and just secure that all into place and then tomorrow we're going to have awesome heatless skills Alrighty, good morning. So I have woken up with this fabulous hairstyle <laughs> and um, I'm gonna basically just start pulling these out and see how it turns out. Hopefully it looks really good. <laughs> um, it's a good idea to have little scissors like this on you in case any of the little elastics, you know, aren't, oh, that one's actually super easy to pull out. <laughs> but in case any of them are kind of stuck or intertwined in there, you can just kind of cut them out. And then, you want to pull all of them out first and then just kind of pull them apart with your fingers and make them into smaller loops. So I'm just going to pull all of these elastics out to start with. Okay, and now you have a head full of really weird looking ringlets. And then what you want to do is just start at the bottom. Oh, there's another elastic start at the bottom and turn them into three or four smaller pieces so just brush your fingers through there and just break these up a little bit <laughs> okay and now as you can see the top here is a little bit flat and weird so what I'm going to do is get some volume powder. This is that um, Schwarzkopf instant volume powder. And I'm just going to put it at the roots and massage the roots to kind of make it all look a little bit more natural and fall out and just get that real volume on the roots there. And try not to break the curls up too much because you still want like those discernible ringlets there. They will end up breaking up a little bit as you kind of style this and massage this. And they end up looking a lot better in a couple of hours when they fall out and look really natural. But here's what you do. Grab a bit of that. And just massage it into there. Okay, then when you kind of get it to a point where you like how it's sitting, I just grab a little bit of finishing spray. And then you end up with something like this. So I absolutely love this hairstyle. I think it's so fun. It does kind of drop out and chill out a little bit throughout the day. So <laughs> this is like the most intense that it's gonna get. But it's cool, it's just like something different to do if you've got an event on and you just want to like give it, I don't know, like 
a bit more daring with my hair. I guess this is something that I would love to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to have lots more hair tutorials coming. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and see you guys next time.